hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and yes you guessed it it's Casey Anthony and um, this is only going to be a really short one um, it's just one witness and his name is Brian Burner he was the neighbor of George and Cindy Anthony he lived next door since 2005 um, so the Anthony's were already living there. He says they were cordial neighbours, they just said hello, nothing more. His children weren't friends with Casey or Lee. He said in June of 2008 he went on vacation and came back on the 16th. He wasn't at work the next day and he was in his house when he saw Casey's car being backed into the garage. He knew it was her car as he never saw anyone else driving that car. Um, it, seeing this wasn't strange to him but he hadn't seen Casey's car being backed into the garage before then um, but he has no recollection of the car leaving the house he was home on the afternoon of the 18th he was mowing the lawn when Casey approached him at around 1 20 1 30 p.m. she asked to borrow his shovel to dig out a bamboo root they show a picture of Brian's garage with a shovel in there um, she had never asked to borrow anything from Brian before um, and she didn't tell him how long she would need it for. He saw Casey walk into her garage and an hour later she brought the shovel back. He didn't notice anything different about her and Brian put the shovel back in his garage. When Brian saw Casey that day, Casey didn't tell him that Kaylee was missing or kidnapped or that she was looking for her and needed help. Her demeanour was normal. She borrowed a shovel, no proof, no evidence of what she did with it. Cross-examination. Um, Brian gave a police statement on 17th of July 2008 and this was when the media was starting to pick up on this story and start to give it more attention. Um, he told law enforcement that he didn't know the date when Kirsty asked to borrow the shovel but it was more or less the week of the 16th. He then went to the Sheriff's Department to give another statement on the 30th of July. This is when he started giving them actual dates. And during this interview, he was asked by law enforcement to close his eyes to try and remember dates as this was important and was told that as time passes, he would start to remember things. Brian agrees with this statement to some extent and he did start to remember dates as time passed. Brian doesn't watch the comings and goings of the Anthony house or of Casey Anthony. He doesn't know how Casey parks her car every day. Um, and then the attorney makes the point that, you know, Casey went to ask to borrow a sho shovel in the middle of the day knowing her neighbour is out and about in the garden. Um, and then on returning the shovel, there was no mud on it. Casey wasn't sweating. Um, and Brian is not aware if the Anthony's had a shovel of their own. She asked to bother, borrow a shovel. I don't. I think this is a pointless witness, to be honest. So the redirect um, regarding the second police interview, Brian had told them about an incident that happened a week after when the gas canist canisters went missing. I don't know what the story is behind these gas canisters gas canisters um, but on that day he said he heard voices and saw Casey in a male he hadn't seen before he could hear them speaking but didn't know what they were saying he didn't see, see Casey leave the house and he doesn't know how long they were there he couldn't see Casey's car but there was another vehicle there he doesn't know he can't remember what it was and you cannot see the Anthony's backyard from Brian's as there is a privacy fence so that's the end of that witness. It's a short video, so I'll be back with another couple of witnesses in the next video. So until then, bye for now.